Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today's video is going to be a review on the Bitdefender, the Bitdefender security, internet security. As you can see here, Bitdefender is a global leader in cyber security. They have home products, business products, and uh, you can partner up if you want to partner up. So let's just go over what I use, which is the total security and the internet security. I just use the total security, which is everything. It's internet security, the antivirus plus, and also have the mobile version as well. You also have the premium security, which also includes a VPN and a password manager. All right, so the total security, which is the one that I use, uh, these are the prices here. So as you can see here, they have a better rating compared to Norton and McAfee. All right, so here's what we get. We get a complete real-time data protection, right? Absolute power in the most efficient security solution available today. Bitdefender Family Pack works against all, f all internet threats from virus, worms, and trojans to ransomware, zero-day exploits, root kits, and spyware. Your data and privacy are safe. They have network threat prevention, stops tax before they even begin the new cyber threat intelligence technologies include can analyze and identify suspicious network level activities and blocks sophisticated exploits malware and botnet related urls and brute force attacks advanced threat defense uses a technique called behavioral detection to closely monitor active apps the moment it detects anything suspicious, it takes instant action to prevent infections. Does the crypto mining protection? Don't be a victim to uh, the bad guys with the crypto mining. Protect yourself against leech software that can run on your system without your knowledge. Multi-layer ransomware protection. All right. So... Ransomware includes a data protection layer that safeguards your documents, pictures, videos, music against all kinds of ransomware attacks. It works with the advanced threat defense module to protect your most important files from encryption by ransomware. So ransomware will encrypt your data and then they'll try and take you ransom and ask you for a ransom fee, could be millions of dollars depending on what they're trying to, depending on what they've encrypted and what data they're, they're, they've taken or encrypted from you and stopping you from being able to use, you know. Um, yeah, so this software will prevent ransomware. Vulnerability assessment. Scans for security loopholes, vulnerabilities with just one click. Bitdefender checks your PC for outdated and vulnerable software, missing Windows security patches, and potentially unsafe system settings. Then indicates the best fix. So if your if your Windows operating system isn't updated, it will prompt you to update your Windows operating system to the latest security patches. Web attack prevention, so it will prevent you from going to specific sites that have been flagged as threats. You know, this could be any, any type of site with malware or bad cookies, whatever. Um, it will prevent you from, from going to those sites. Eventually, it, it, it will it'll block you from going to that site. So it'll, like, it'll come up with a firewall and it'll say, Bitdefender has blocked this website. So I'll, I'll, I'll give you an example of that once I've installed the program. I'll show you how to install it and everything. Anti-phishing. So anti-phishing, it will protect your emails from phishing scams. So phishing scams are scams where um, they will send you a link pretending to be a government website or something like that saying that you need to log into your government account to verify your details. Um, or something and it, it'll the website it won't be the, it, the the link will look similar to the real website link then the website page will look exactly the same as the real website page but when you go to put in your email and password you're actually putting your email and password into their database which sends them your login information and then what they do is they go to the real website, log in and steal all your personal information and use that against you for identity theft and things like that.
or you know steal accounts from you and then hold you ransom and charge you money for the account back or something like that but they can do all hackers can do all types of bad stuff so you've got to be aware of protecting all of your personal data and protecting all of your information with programs like this anti-spam anti-spam so it will um Get rid of spam emails and spam text messages. If you're using the Android app of the, of Windows Defender, it will scan your text messages for malicious links and it will um, tell you to block that number or it'll, it'll just flag it and it'll say you don't click on the link, delete the message or whatever. So rescue environment. So it has a rescue environment where it'll go into a safe mode and it will get rid of all of the bad malware and root kits and, and things like that. I'll show you. What does it say here? It says sophisticated malware like root kits need to be removed before Windows starts, right? So before it all boots and everything, um, before the whole Windows operating system boots up, it needs to, when you restart your computer, it'll It'll go th through and put a whole heap of code into your computer and it will scan everything before your operating system boots up. So it detects, reboots the computer in rescue environment and it cleans up and rest, clean, it clean up and restoration. It'll clean up and restore your computer. So that's the protection part, which is a whole heap of value. As you can see, there's a lot of threats online. There's a lot of threats and you know, um, Windows Defender is great, but Windows Defender won't cover all of this. Windows Defender will, it'll block, it, it won't block certain websites and, and stuff like that. It'll, it basically, it'll just get rid of malware and, and things like that. But there's a lot of these things here that Windows Defender will not do. So keep that in mind. Autopilot. So Bitdefender Autopilot is designed to act as a security advisor and to give you deeper insights into your security posture. Its smart capabilities mean that it can recommend security actions in the context of your system needs and usage patterns. Bitdefender Photon. This innovative exclusive technology helps Bitdefender Family Pack able to adapt to your system's hardware and software configuration to save computing resources and improve speed and performance. So your computer's not gonna lag, um, it'll run as it should, All right? Global protective network, um, scanning takes place in the cloud, so there is virtually zero impact on your local resources, but it, it does all the network stuff, it, it doesn't use most of the resources on your computer. Yeah. Everything's done in the cloud. Um, Movie, work modules, game, depending on what you're doing, Bitdefender temporarily halts pop-ups, adjusts visuals, settings, and pauses unimportant background activities so you can enjoy your device to the max. So it optimizes your computer as well. I found the optimizing thing really great, and I'll show you that. Improves speed and performance of your devices with one-click optimizer. So I use that one-click optimizer sometimes. Um, battery module, so you know you can um, fix settings such as the display, the system calling, the system updates, and the Bluetooth connectivity. This useful intelligent feature saves the battery life for laptops. So that's great for me because I have a laptop. All right, so that's the performance. So it'll fix all of your performance, and then we have the privacy. All right, so. The privacy, we have a VPN, so you can use their VPN. And in, I think VPN, you need the premium version to be able to use their VPN. If not, you can use the free version of the VPN, which is 200 megabytes per day. So you, if, you, if you're only doing, if you only need the VPN to do certain things like log into your banking or, um, log into specific sites where you don't want those sites to know your ip address then you know it's fine 200 megabytes you're not going to use up 200 megabytes is fine it's, it's, it's enough for you to be able to log into a simple one or two or three websites um even more to access information from those websites and 
unless you're doing media, unless you're watching media or movies or something, then you know you may want to get the premium version so you can use their VPN. Um, but yeah, I, I actually recommend another VPN. I use um, myself. I use Nord VPN. So if you if you want to see a video about a video review about Nord VPN, then um, I'll make another video about that and you can find that on the channel somewhere. So just type in Nord VPN in my channel, search for the video and you'll find it. Um, what do we have here? Anti tracker extension blocks blocks trackers that collect your data so the cookies and the, and the trackers and stuff like that so when you go to certain websites what they'll do is they'll install certain things on your browser and on your computer without you noticing um to track and they'll and they'll track your, your information like um you know your ip address or your advertising id or um what does it say here? It keeps your browsing data private and enhances your performance by loading the page, web pages faster. So microphone monitor, um, regain control over your device's microphone monitor. You can see what apps have access to your device's microphone and when. All right, so I'll show you all of that as well. Webcam protection. It will it'll prompt you when some application, when, when an application or something on your windows computer is accessing your camera safe online banking right so um, bitdefender safe pay so it'll open up in a container web browser so you can do web browsing through banking just with safe pay instead of using your normal browser you can use the bitdefender safe pay browser which is an encrypted container. So nothing can enter that. Um, yeah, so whenever you're entering your password or whatever information you enter into that will be encrypted and, and not possible for anyone to see or hack while you're accessing that information. Unless someone's recording your screen and they can see your password or something like that when you're putting it in and your ID. Parental controls so you can protect your kids from um, unwanted threats on the internet. What does it say here? Parental control offers digital help to parents and extra online safety to children. Filter out inappropriate content and limit screen time. Log in remotely to Bitdefender Central to monitor your kids' online activity. Parental control is also available on Mac OS, iOS, Android with a different feature set up pending on each platform. And you have your firewall, which is this firewall. If once you know how to use a firewall, you will find you will find that you have a lot more control over your device and you'll know what's going on with your device so yes set this software up if, if you've done a factory reset or um, a reinstall of windows the first thing you want to do is install this program or another or another program similar to this like hitman pro uh, which i've done a video on as well I actually use both. I use this and Hitman Pro, where it will allow you to control your firewall and you will be able to see what all of your apps and devices are doing on your computer. You'll be able to have a lot more control over them and accept or deny access to specific things like your webcam, your microphone, all of that. All right, then we've got anti-theft. So Bitdefender Family Pack, Effectively, anti-loss and anti-theft tools for your Windows laptop, tablet, remotely accessible from anywhere in the world, in your Bitfern and Central account. Wi-Fi security advisor. So um, access the security of your Wi-Fi network and router no matter where you connect. Stay safe from malicious links and any online threats your friends unwittingly pass on to you via social networks. File Shredder, use this tool to permanently delete files from your computer in a safe and encrypted way. Um, yeah, that's not what it says, but what does it say? Use this tool when you wish to delete a file for good and leave no traces that it ever existed on your PC, right? So yeah. 
kind of what I said, but in a different way. Um, so what do we have here? We have three plans. Don't forget you have the premium plan as well, and then you have business plans. So if you want to look at those programs, you can look at those programs as well. But for now, I'm just going over um, basic home security. The business security would cover all of this too, but it would cover more things like, um, let's just have a look, endpoint detection and response um security containers with linux they they have a whole heap of different things full disk encryption you know um gravity zone full disk encryption gravity zone full disk encryption is a native proven encryption module that can be added onto any bit defender endpoint security solution to keep your business data secure and reduce the risk of data lost or theft all right so they're, they're, they've got some plans there you know one year two three year um but yeah we're not covering that we're covering the home security so we'll just go to, back to the go back twice here we're covering the bitdefender total security right so you've got a 30-day free trial it will work on Android, Windows, Mac, iOS, and with the Bitdefender Total Security, you will get everything that I've mentioned. You get the device optimizer, you get all of these things that I've mentioned. So I'm going to take you through, um, it's going to show you quickly the payment options that they accept. So yeah, they have um, upsells and stuff like that, so you can accept or not, not accept them. All right. So they accept MasterCard, American Express, Discover, PayPal, or a wire transfer. All right. So I'm going to log into my account and I'll show you what you can do once you've created an account and you've paid for your system and how you do that, how you set it up. All right. So as you can see, I have a whole heap of devices here that are protected. I've got um, three phones and I've got two laptops but what i want to do is um actually want to remove this device so you just click on it and go remove because i don't use this device anymore so yeah you go to my devices and then it will show you what you can do so it's got to log in again so yeah what we're going to do is remove both of these devices as well and then we will add a new device so once you're logged into your Bitdefender Central, you need to add a new device and you need to select what you're adding. So identity protection um, and or total security or parental control, right? So I wanna add the total security. So all I do is click on add to another device and it's this device that I'm adding it to. Um, if it's another device, then you wanna go through that process, but I'm just adding it to this device, all right? So the download will start. We want to save that, open it, and Bitdefender will start downloading. 711 megabytes. So this will take a little bit. I'll pause it and come back. So what it will do is uh, come to this page after the installation. It should recognize that it is my installation and I shouldn't have to log in. So it's, so it's now installed. We can start device assessment or we can skip that and then do our own thing. But we're going to start device assessment. All right, it'll scan and analyze your whole system to find any threats. So we'll come back up. All right, so it found no threats. So we'll click on continue using Bitdefender. So it'll tell you your expiry date and uh, how many devices are protected. All right, so there are a few things that I recommend you do before you continue. I recommend you come into system scan and you do another full system scan. All right, now then after that, do a vulnerability scan while we're here we can add things that we want to add into the interface so i want to add the optimizer because that's great there um, i like to use the optimizer so we'll just run i'll run a quick optimize so i can show you what the optimize does this is a brand new fresh computer so it ha hasn't got much to optimize right, so already it's found 1.11 gigabytes to speed up the system right so we'll optimize that close down the google chrome as well all right so we want to go into more depth click on antivirus and we will set up a custom scan i'm also going to do a rescue 
environment skin I had to make sure there's no root kits or anything like that. We'll set up a custom skin so we can send every single drive on the PC. All right, so all of these just be because actually it won't recognize you anyway, custom skin. We'll just call this call this all drives. Drive scan. So we don't want to scan only the options we want to scan tasks priority what we want it auto we want it as a high priority because it's our security and our protection is just an important thing right so we want it high um so we can run it in the crown as the most um which i'm going to select that so i don't have to worry about anything popping on the screen so at the end of the scan um have it shut down the device, close the scan window, or we can show this the scan summary. So that's what I wanted to show the scan summary. Make sure it's got rid of everything or anything that is on there that needs to be gone. It's just a bit laggy at the moment because I'm recording my computer and I'm doing a few scans. Okay, so next is scan potentially unwanted applications. Yes, scan archives. Yes, we want to scan all the archives. Ignore archives greater than 10 megabytes. We want to turn this up, all right? So we'll turn this all the way up, all right? Because an archive, the bigger the archive is, and you know, possibly the more dangerous it could be. So we'll turn that all the way up, and that way it doesn't ignore everything, you know? Like if, if this, if one of the programs is bigger than 10 megabytes, then it will ignore it completely in the archive. So we want to turn that all the way up. Scan only new and modified files. No, we want to scan every file. All right. Scan boot sectors. Yes. Scan memory. Yes. Scan registry. Yes. Scan cookies. Yes. Scan keyloggers. Yes. UEFI scan. Scan unidentified ex extensionable firmware interface modules to check if they have been tampered with. Yes. Next. Choose when to schedule this. So we will do this on a day when we're not working, but the computer is on. Or at a time at the end of the day, at the end of the work day, when we're not using the system as much because it's going to be using um, a fair few resources. So for me, I want to do it daily and I want to do it hmm, one, two, Three, four, five, six. So we want to do it in about six o'clock. Right. So our system is optimized as well. Yeah. All right. So you can manage exceptions as well. So if you've got certain application you want to accept from the antivirus, so it doesn't re recognize it as a virus, you can do that as well. You just add the exception. Online threat prevention, advanced threat defense. Um, you, know, you can search the file or the folder in your directory and then select whatever. So it can be anything. It can be a main extension. It can be a path extension, whatever you don't want recognized. Um, the quarantine threats. So restore or delete threats that have been quarantined so you can view all your quarantine quarantined items and quarantine files and you can delete them for good delete them or restore them and you got a few other things here right so i want to go over that uh butterfield shield scan only application no scan potentially unwanted applications blah, blah. all right so when we set up our custom scan it's put all of our advanced setting, all of our custom scan settings into our advanced. So you can reset all of that if you want to reset all of that. But I like it the way it is. Um, so we're going to manage scans at the moment. And we will do, I think we're doing a system scan. Yeah, we're doing a full system scan at the moment. So we'll stop that. Yeah. And We'll do many scans so custom scan all here we go we've got all drive scans right so this is the one we set up and we'll run that right now all right so that's running in the background 
as you can see here it is here the little icon scanning or all drive scan and we're going to set up the rest of our settings right so we'll turn on crypto mining protection we'll go to advance advanced threat defense settings all, right, all of that's turned on that's what we want go to online threat prevention this is one of the most important things all right so we want to make sure most of this all of this is done and all exceptions there's no exceptions that's good double check that local email protection incoming and outgoing emails yes okay then we've got our vulnerability apps and networks all right so we can go to our wi-fi security advisor we can go to settings so we want to make sure the windows update is on check windows updates availability system updates can include important security updates for your device application updates passwords autoplay wi-fi security advisor can host all that stuff you want all that on and our firewall right this is where you'll be using most of this is where you'll be using the software most of the time if you're installing and uninstalling applications and things like that right this application is allowed the onedrive is allowed right it, 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 there's an exception for that to go through um so is the windows explorer uh, i've got obs running so that's allowed Product agent service i don't know what product agent service is okay that's bit defender so that that's its own program. I'm going to check that. Let's see what product agent service is. See what people are saying on the internet about it. The genuine product agent service.exe file is a software token of Bitdefender Security. All right, so someone's saying Bitdefender Security. Um, do we trust these sources, though? That's the thing. How to remove Bitdefender Agent? Bitdefender Agent is an official program by Bitdefender that gets installed alongside other company products such as Bitdefender Enterprise Free Edition or Total Security, right? Okay, our scan's complete, our full system scan's complete, so that's good, everything's good. All right, so we're gonna leave this agent, so I'm pretty sure that's part of Bitdefender. Which, that's from Microsoft. MS Edge View, that's from Microsoft Edge, I think. Microsoft Edge Web View application. Okay, so it looks like we're pretty clean. There's nothing trying to get through our firewall. Um, so, you know, we've got rules here as well that we can, we can turn these things on and off. So you can edit the rule. So this is uh, Hitman Pro Alert. So we can allow it on any network any protocol direction both right so we actually only want it inbound no no we want it both because it needs to it might need to update something right so for what's this installer installer.exe So yeah, the firewall is very important. It's found this installer. I don't know what this installer is. I'm going to deny that access because I don't know what it is. It just says in, so that could be anything. Task host, trusted installer. So I don't know what these installers are. Like. Allow these to continue. Trusted host.exe, Windows package manager server. So I'm just going to deny, deny these things because I don't know what they are. Widget.exe, no, we're not going to, we're only going to allow outbound, in, we're only going to allow inbound from that, right? So we don't need to send any of our personal information out to the widget. So direction, inbound, that's it. All right, save that. And that's how you manage things in the firewall, all right? you can block them completely you can just get rid of it so it doesn't it can't go inbound or outbound it can't send any information inbound or, or outbound um 
or you can just make it so it, it, it goes one way or the other. Um, network adapters, settings, port scan protection, yes, alert mode, get alerts for application, applications rights to access the internet and control each connection. Yes, we want to do that. Stealth mode, edit, we want to edit the stealth mode. Ethernet, make your device invisible both inside and outside your network. Yes, we want to do that. All right, so we'll turn stealth mode on. Default application behavior. Just turn on automatic for that. Use passive detection mode. Intercept DHCP traffic without conflicting with existing custom DHCP, soft DHCP software. Not 100% sure what that does. Don't want too many alerts that are going to ignore me. So we're going to leave that. So that's the firewall. Then we can move on to the ransomware. So you can turn on ransomware automatic re um, restore files that have been encrypted. So yeah, that's how you do that. You can add exceptions, go back and we'll look at the anti-spam. Right, so you can add exceptions in here um, for email addresses. So your friends' email addresses, if you trust them, or wh wh whatever trusted email addresses that you have, you can put in there as trusted so they don't come up as spam or whatever. And then if you have guys that spam you, you can put ones in here that are spam. Block logograms Asian, right? Block emails that are encoded with Asian characters. Yes, I don't speak to anyone that's Chinese, so I don't want any outside threats from China or whatever. So click that. If you're, if you're, I don't know, if you're in the West or if you're in Australia or wherever, you, you don't, you're not speaking to people that are Asian, I would recommend selecting that because there's a lot of hackers from China, a lot. You can also block Cyrillic characters. Cyrillic characters are characters like, um, you know, language that's from Russia. So you can block Russian characters as well as Asian characters. And to be honest, that's where most of the hackers come from, Russia or China or America. But um, yeah, I'm going to turn both of those on. Submit spam samples, uh, all of that. You know, you can do all that anti anti spam. So we've covered the protection. Let's move on to the privacy. So here's your safe pay. So I'll show you safe pay. If I just launch safe pay, I'll show you what that does. So I don't know if you can actually see that because it's come up with a completely different screen. And I think it may not allow me to record while this screen is up. But as you can see here, it's brought up a completely different container. And it allows me to go to a website, um, you know, it will allow me to go to a banking website, investment website in a safe manner, right? So you can log into your investment or you can go back, you can switch back to the desktop, right? So that was a container, that was a safe container and there it is there, you can open it back up again but I don't need to use it, so. All right, safe pay notifications. Automatically open Bitdefender safe pay. Use VPN with safe pay, right? So you can turn your VPN on every single time you use the safe pay. All right, so I'll do that. Safe pay. Then you've got your VPN, so you can install the VPN. This is the Bitdefender VPN. So I can connect right now. I'm not going to show you my IP address. But um yeah. So the VPN will block ads and trackers. You can go in here and you can set up ad locker, anti tracker. You can turn it on so it auto connect every single time you start your device. You can make it connect when you look at to a public Wi-Fi. I use VPN when I start peer to peer file sharing, uh, advanced split tunneling, protocol, app traffic optimizer. All right. So you got a lot of different things that you can use. 
so yeah down here it's given me a completely different ip address so yeah um there's password manager so you can trial you can trial password manager um for a certain time so we'll just claim the free trial actually it's asking me to log in so i'm not going to cover that at the moment i'm not going to stuff around with the password manager i have another password manager that i use so i don't need to worry about that um but if you need a password manager um i'm sure that's a really great password manager uh yeah so video and audio protection so you can set up your video and audio protection you can mute all of your mics um at the moment the video broadcast is using my what if we got another pop-up here something helper is trying to send packets out tcp packets out so we don't need that anyway we'll block mo there's all this stuff trying to send packets out all right so nvidia broadcast is using my camera at the moment and on the audio obs studio is using my microphone so what I'm doing right now to record this video, I'm actually using my Snowball mic, which is this mic here, that is going through straight through to the OBS Studio. So yeah, you, you can turn this on and off, um, but just be aware that it's not as easy as turning it on and off. You have to restart your program as well if you want to make it work. So you have over here settings, so block all access to webcam. You can block browsers access to the webcam. So I want to block all, all the browsers access to my webcam because I don't want any browsers to see to see my, my camera at all. Um, set application permissions based on community choice. Notify when allowed applications connect to webcam. So yes, we want to do that. We want to be notified every time um, someone is, uh, we want to be notified every time our camera is being used. Um, for me, I have a little light on the front of my webcam and that allows me to see when the webcam is actually being used. But hackers can also gain access to your camera and look through your camera without that light being on. They have to be very advanced to be able to do that, but it's a possibility and um, it can be done. So if you turn this on, you'd be able to see through the software or through any malicious activity, whether someone has gained access to your camera or whether something is trying to gain access to your camera um, that you don't want. So you can click on, you should be able to click on block or allow um, or you can go into your settings and then, um, you know, sort that out so it's not gaining access. Uh, the way you would do that is you would go to webcam protection and you would allow or disallow the application. You would have to know what application it is. So it should give you a prompt and what application it was, was trying to connect. And it should come up here as the application being connected. All right. So... Um, you'll be able to block it just like I showed you before by blocking the camera. You just, you just click on block or you click on delete. Um, yeah. All right. So that is the video and audio protection. You have the anti tracker. All right. So we'll turn, we'll, we've turned the anti tracker on for all of our browsers. I don't know why Mozilla Firefox isn't turned on. We're going to have to uninstall Mozilla Firefox because I don't use it. And the anti track is not turned on for that. So that's something we're going to have to do. Parental controls. All right. So I think you set up all your parental controls through your online account. Um, I don't think you configure it through the software. Then we have utilities. So anti theft, you have to go to your central account like you do with the um, parental controls on online account then you have your optimizer which i showed you earlier uh, then you have profiles so you can set up specific profiles for certain areas that you're in so if you're at work with your laptop you can configure certain you can optimize certain things and certain applications um, that are allowed through your network depending on what you're doing right so you can set up a movie profile, same thing here. Um, you know, like, I don't know, movie profile, players list, add a players, add a movie, 
add a movie application list um you know public ip pro profile so you know recommended using safe pay when accessing banking pages right so you can turn on your vpn and safe say the vpn if you turned on vpn automatically when safe pay turns on then your vpn will turn on whenever safe pay turns on so um if you've got this box ticked here then whenever you're on a public network you will be on a vpn as long as you're using the safe pay browser adjust product settings to boost protection when connected to an unsafe public wi-fi right so um you know you can do that as well i don't connect to public wi-fi with this computer so it's all good um battery mode profile so you know you can set up your battery to do specific things all right um and then you have your data protection so you can securely erase any files that you want to erase i'll show you how to do that um data protection so you can securely erase any files that you want to erase i'll show you how to do that um let's just go into something here right? documents this is say i want to securely erase this this here i can go down to bitdefender file shredder and i can permanently erase that right that's been securely erased refresh the page not there anymore it's gone didn't even go to the bin it was just securely erased all right so that's how you securely erase things with your data protection then you've got all your notifications so these are all my notifications everything that's gone on everything that i've blocked and allowed through the network these are all the warnings right so i'm using obs studio to record this video so um obs studio application is accessing your microphone you know it's also accessing my camera and my screen it notified me of it has got in the settings here under privacy and video audio protection as the, the video broadcast for my camera right and it said audio is obs so yeah these are all these are all the notifications that you get um you know it gives you information about all of your logs so as you can see i just deleted that file so file shredder completely completed successfully right um deleted one one folder for one file here nvidia broadcast has been allowed to use your webcam all right and then back here nvidia application has been allowed to use your webcam again all right settings password protection restrict access to bit defender settings so you can set up a password to be able to access your bit defender home security total security so every time you change a setting or you look or do anything on the application then you need a password right i think and you'll be able to look at things but every single time you change it or access the application you'll need a password all right you can turn on the security widget right so you'll see here i've turned on the security widget and if i can move it there we go i can move it there up there on the top left hand corner you'll see the bit defender widget all right so that will also give me an indication on my home screen on my desktop that everything is a there's a box ticked i'm not sure what it means when it says 12 but yeah you can click on it and you can open the application the application's already open so display in product notifications with special offers customized for you so no i don't want that don't want notifications about that stuff so you can turn that off so you don't get those notifications anymore recommended notifications get on-screen recommendations about security features you can use uh, yes we'll keep that on all right so you can turn dark mode on if you want dark mode actually like dark mode it's a lot easier on the eyes you can set up a proxy product reports up, update automatically yes you want that on update check intervals every one hour right because threats are constant and always rapidly expanding throughout the internet so if something comes out like a huge worm taking over the internet then you want to be updated within the hour that you could be infected or something from one of the systems you connected to through a network and it will scan your computer and make sure it'll it'll do the update check and check in the cloud to make sure you don't have anything on your computer that you shouldn't have all right um 
So I've covered basically everything I need to cover on the Bitdefender Total Security. So yeah, I hope that video helped you guys. And if you have any questions or comments, leave your info in the comment section. If you enjoyed this content, give me a sub and keep up to date with computer tech and reviews. Enjoy guys.